the Steelers have been unstoppable this season. 5-1 and one on the year, coming off a huge win in Cincinnati against the Bengals, now returning home to play the 4-2 Tennessee Titans. Can the Steelers continue their win streak and can they win back at home? Make sure you watch until the very end because this one was crazy. The Steelers start with the ball first. First down for them. Spencer's going to scramble to his right side. He's got space and he's going to be brought down at the 47 for a first down. First down for the Steelers at the 24. Spencer looking past. He's going to scramble to his right side. He's got a huge opening. He's going to run it in for the touchdown. Spencer with a touchdown, but there's a flag on the play. Now first down out of the 14 for the Steelers. Spencer gets a snap. Look at the pass. He's going to scramble. Throwing to the right side. It's almost intercepted. Now fourth down and eight. They will go for it. Trying for a touchdown here. Fake handoff. Spencer looking to pass. He's under pressure. And it is overthrown. Now first down for the Titans. 17 seconds before halftime. Tannehill looking to pass. Looking, looking, he's going to throw up field. It is completed for a first down, down to the 40. The Titans want a field goal, but we will ice the kicker. Trying to avoid going down by three before the half. Here we go. This is a very long field goal for them. The kick is up, and it's wide left. They had no shot making that field goal. And just like that, we remain tied. Five seconds remaining. This should be the last play of the first half. Spencer throwing downfield deep. It is broken up, and we are heading into halftime, remaining tied at zero. The Titans start with the ball first down the goal. They are driving downfield in the fourth quarter. Hand off to Derrick Henry, and he is stopped short of the touchdown. Steelers need a big stop on second down. Two minutes remaining here at the two-yard line. Here's the handoff to Derrick Henry again. And he is stopped again, this time losing three yards. Now third and goal. Here's a handoff to Henry. He's got space and he's going to run in for the touchdown. After back-to-back -back stops, the Titans finally take the lead. 7-0, minute and a half remaining. Third and 17 for the Steelers. This is for the game under a minute remaining. Spencer looking pass upfield. It is completed and he stays in bounds down to the 39. A big reception. Now first down at the 47. Spencer upfield. It is completed again. The Steelers are moving downfield. This is for the game. Fourth down. 23 seconds left. One timeout remaining at the 28. Spencer looking to pass. He's going to throw to the left side. It is caught for a touchdown. 18 seconds left. And the Steelers tied this game up. Now the Titans are trying to score. Here we go. Hand off to Derrick Henry for whatever reason. They're running the ball with just a few seconds left. But there's a flag on the play. And it's going to be a face mask penalty on the Steelers. That could be the game. And with four seconds remaining, out of the 40-yard line, they will attempt a field goal. But we will call our final timeout in hopes to ice the kicker and push for overtime. Here we go. This kick is for the win. The kick is up. And it's wide right. Just by maybe a couple of inches. And the game remains tied and we will go to overtime. We absolutely need the coin toss here so we get the ball first. But the Titans win so we will have to defend first. And this could be trouble. Our defense needs to step up big time. The Titans have been just running the ball and the clock is ticking. They're going to hand it off again. Derrick Henry is not going to get many yards. And they call their final timeout. Second and seven. Fake handoff. Look at the pass. Derrick Henry gets the ball. He's downfield. And the time is still ticking. No timeouts remaining. And this game is over. The Titans misuse their timeouts. They only run the ball in overtime. And this game ends in a tie of all ways. 7-7 is your final score. Wow, what a way to finish this game. All I can say there is I should have lost that game. And honestly, the CPU definitely miscoached there. 
in overtime but regardless we don't win we don't lose i will take the tie next up though we're facing the division rival and we are tied for first place with them the baltimore ravens and lamar jackson should be a good one so make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss that video and other than that guys thank you so much for watching i will catch you in my next one